Hi, everyone. I have to say that spending time, quality time, with Diane von Furstenberg over the last 13 years has made me realize that she is what everyone in fashion is always searching for, a true one of a kind. I don't know anyone else on this planet who can be smart, sexy, forceful and kind all at the same time while fluffing her fabulous mane of hair and crossing and uncrossing her fishnet clad set of gorgeous gowns. If you looked up the word multitasking in your fashion pictionary, surely we all know there would be a picture of DVF. Nothing with Diane is ever boring, particularly our CFDA board meetings. As you all can imagine, fashion people never lack for opinions, and discourse is encouraged. But Diane somehow always manages to know how to manage a bunch of rambunctious, overage kids, yes, kids, and come up with a solution that works for the whole family. She has served as a mentor and a champion, as our voice of reason, nurturing creativity, and ultimately building an incredibly strong fashion community. <laughs> Diane is a force of nature, and she always thinks Big, better, best. So everyone, I want you to please put your hands together and celebrate the incredible work that Diane von Furstenberg has done for American fashion and the world at large. And we all know she will continue to do so with great strength and intelligence and heart. By the way, she had no idea we were doing this. All right, good evening. Fashion is glamorous. Fashion is mysterious. Fashion is the reflection of the moment. Designers are magicians. They create shapes, launch colors, define a silhouette, a body language. They invent a new way of expressing the zeitgeist. America is a place where dreams come true, where designers come from all over the world and transform the way people dress and behave. Council Fashion of Designers of America is the American family of these fashion designers who all go through our own, to their own and yet similar fashion journey. So this is what a fashion journey is about. We start very young daring, ambitious, sometimes arrogant, we become superstars and we think we are invincible. But invincible no one is. And with growth come difficulties, obstacles, mistakes. Then we get strong again. And sometimes we have fear not to be relevant anymore until a new generation comes up 
and rediscover our work in vintage shops. And we heard again, that is the journey of fashion. And as I am a vintage, I know. So I have been privileged to lead the CFDA for the last 13 years. My first goal was to turn it into a family, a place we could share our goals, our frustrations, our dreams. Make it an inclusive family, support one another, and use our being together to have more leverage, to be stronger and more powerful. Stephen and I started together our CF Delay life, and we accomplished so much together. We doubled our membership, we created an endowment, we took over the fashion calendar, we strengthened American Next Fashion Generation through CFDA Vogue under the leadership of Anna Winter. We launched the Health Initiative to Protect Models' Well-Being. We went to Washington to fight for copyright. And even though we totally failed, we enhanced the value for mass merchants to use proper designers. We started strategic partnership group. We turned CFDA.com into an editorial destination for American fashion. And last but not least, sustainability, diversity, inclusion, and gender equality are finally being addressed. So it is so vital for the world and for CFDA. So I want to thank the CFDA Board of Directors for your support. I want to thank Stephen for your amazing leadership, Cassandra and Lisa, and the entire CFDA staff for your dedication and artwork. In fashion, it's all about making a glamorous entrance. But beautiful exits are very important too. I could not have wished for a better exit, a more glamorous upgrade, and a better successor than Tom. 